and welcome to my channel Style by Shada. In this week's video, I have decided to talk about Lebos 8. Yes, Nori's clothes. So this video is a Nori special for all of the people out there who do celebrate this ancient celebration going back to ancient Persia, Nori's. So with that said, let's go and see what kind of outfits I have put together. So for the first outfit, I have put together a all over print floral chiffon dress. This dress is from Kate Spade and one of my favorite pieces because I think it's such a great representation of Nourouz and the season spring because you have flowers in here, you got pink, you got the pretty lace and what I like about it, in Nourouz usually we do go to visit our elders so this is a very cute, um, I would say formal uh, wear and again something that you can carry wear it at home you know receive guests as they come to visit you as well as wearing it and going to visiting your elders because you already have a lot happening on this dress i don't think you need to wear a shoe that is too flashy you want to keep the shoe really simple either you could go contrast and wear something like what i'm wearing that's the one i paired it with or if you don't want to show your toes or if it's you know you're feeling cold then go with something really simple pumps and for pumps i would say go try to go for the seasonal really blush pink pumps that are you know that are the trend now and you're gonna get so many options out there and pink being apparently the hottest color of the season i don't think you're gonna have a tough time finding shoes for this outfit but yeah i just think it's so pretty it's flowy it's feminine it's light and super comfortable as you're going from house to house eating all those sweets and tea so yeah this is really gonna be eat and sit friendly dress for sure for the second outfit I actually decided to go for a pair of all over print uh, pants and these are from Ted Baker and they're beautiful. The color and the fit and the makeup and you know the beautiful detailing, the insect uh, in the set in the you know in the middle. But I, tr I matched it actually with a twin set from Banana Republic. I think there has been an influence of the uh, TV series that is on Netflix, The Crown, because over there, Princess Margaret is actually showing off the hottest trend of the, you know, the 50s and the 60s, which were these twin sets. And I think that trend is kind of creeping back. And uh, Banana actually has brought this beautiful colors they are uh, having a good selection of colors in their collection this spring and this is from there i actually managed to match these outfits to two of the sets from banana republic but this uh, the pants and the twin set i think is ideal for someone if you have kids for example and you'll be running around and kneeling and you want to be comfortable and not uncomfortable in a too formal dress so this is ideal for you and i think this is equally chic to go and visit elders as well as like receiving guests at at your place in case you want to have an outerwear with this i do recommend going for something lighter something more seasonal because it's just going to complete the look and add that extra chicness and style to your overall look so do consider an overcoat in a more springy color because there's nothing worse than putting these beautiful colors and wearing like a black or navy or even a camel camel overcoat for that matter so for the third outfit i thought of a lace dress uh, i think lace seemed to be again one of the hottest trend of the season and i went with this pale dusty pink and this is the front but this is eliza j and they sell this brand at nordstrom and uh, i really really like this dress it's very simple but yet it has got a little bit of a you know cuteness pretty details like you know the bell sleeves and you know the frill at the bottom this is for you if you don't want to overdo it and you still want to look springy and you're not really much into prints and colors so i do think this would be the right outfit for you and the v-neck allows you to wear a nice pendant or if you're not a pendant person then i recommend some good statement earrings that's all you need for this outfit don't wear too much on your hands because it already has got bell sleeves so there is a feature so you don't want to make your look too busy now because the dress is really simple um, Ted Baker has got this beautiful floral print and matching shoes so you could basically you know spice up or spring up your outfit with that selection um, 
This one is again from Ted Baker and they have got the matching shoes. And I think if you go back to olden days when our, our moms used to shop for their Norris clothes, they always used to buy matching shoes and bags, if you remember those days. And this kind of took me back to that, which is why I wanted to feature it. So even if you're wearing a very simple outfit, try to spring it up with one of these, uh, you know, floral print shoes and a matching bag because it's brick, it's floral, it's cute and it's pretty. And why I chose this particular print is because it has cherry blossom and I think nothing represents springs and no roots like cherry blossom. So for the fourth outfit, I decided to go for a top and skirt look. This is the high-low skirt. This is from Ted Baker. And I really, really think this look is so pretty. It's so chic. It's so feminine. And yet it's very springy. This, I think, would be the outfit for you who are not really into the pretty pastel colors, but yet you want to wear something springy. Then I do recommend this outfit for you. Now, the reason why I decided to go for something of a tonal gray with this is if you would wear the pink with this, it would be way too strong of a contrast. And really, the beautiful floral print at the bottom of the skirt would not stand out. And that is the statement, and that is really the feature of this outfit. And of course, you got the bow. So you want to make sure that the top that you choose with this is more tonal rather than contrast. But to spice it up, definitely go for a rich statement necklace, because this is an outfit that calls for a statement necklace, definitely. And for shoes, uh, I couldn't really stop myself. I had to match it back to these beautiful bow shoes, satin, again, dusty pink from Ted Baker, because I think they match beautifully and it adds that extra prettiness and feminineness to the whole look. Yes, you could probably have gone with the gray, but really, I don't think it would add anything to it. It would just make the outfit boring, but this really makes the outfit formal, pretty, and if you're having a Norris event, I think you can easily even wear this for a more of an evening event. If you're going to a restaurant where you're having dance and party, you could easily wear this because it has got the darker tone, yet a little bit of a spring in it. For the fifth outfit, I decided to go for something very pretty, feminine, and inspired from the 50s. Again, this is a beautiful Ted Baker dress, and it has got an off-shoulder look and you know this beautiful dusty pink with hints of uh, rose gold metallic in it and side pockets we all know how much i love side pockets in these big poofy skirts and dresses and again it has got the rose gold there's a detailing at the back but this dress is beautiful it's really feminine it's pretty and at the same time, if you would wear it with, I would say, maybe a cropped cardigan during the day, you can wear it to go and visit elders. You take off the cardigan and you can go for a nice Noru's party in the evening. And I think during Noru's is probably the only time of the year you can wear lighter pastel colors for evening occasions uh, because we are celebrating spring so what better way to celebrate than actually wear the colors that are very season appropriate and this season it's unbelievable the amount of beautiful rose pinks and light pinks that are out there the, every store has got beautiful collections i have to say kate spade and ted baker have brought the most beautiful collections this season very very noise appropriate so for shoes, I thought the best way to match it is to match it back to the background color of the print. Uh, Ted Baker did have some options, but I kind of like the ones from Kate Spade with it because I felt it was a nicer match uh, for the uh, this uh, kind of a pale pink nude look. And it had a bit of a cute detailing to it. The heels, unfortunately, on Kate Spade shoes are not very high, so if you are a girl who likes to wear high heels, then maybe Ted Baker would be a better option. But if you do, or you know, if you're lucky and you have got the height, then I think this actually would make a nicer match. And uh, yeah, and because it's so beautiful, it's off the shoulder, you're showing your bare top. Uh, keep the jewelry very simple, either wear some uh, statement earrings if you're having your hair tied and if you're not, just keep a nice, um, you know, just a st string of pearls or something really simple like the one on the mannequin because you don't want to overdo it because don't forget there's already a lot happening with the bottom of the dress. Last but not least, the most beautiful piece of all, this dress from Kate Spade, I just fell in love with it. It's 
so majestic and it's so beautiful and it's so Hollywood and this is for you if in case you are that part of the world when Norwood is falling at night I think for us it's falling in the middle of the day but you could wear this for a beautiful dinner reception and uh, you know and we know how much Iranians love black so here you get to wear black in Nor you know, for Norwood but because of the floral embroidery on it there is a bit of a forgiveness there one thing I really like about this dress is because it is totally seasonless. Like I can see a person wearing this even in the middle of winter, if, you know, for a wedding or for a bridal shower for that matter. But it's one of those pieces, it's very classic, it's very chic and you know, with the off the shoulder look, you know, a bit of a small jewelry with it. Uh, it just makes, makes it so elegant, so chic. For shoes, I decided to actually match this with plain black suede pumps. I wouldn't do any contrast because if you do contrast with a dress like this, it's actually going to make you look shorter and it will be a cut in the coloration. So it's always better to keep it to one single color as a background, which is here black, for that continuity and longevity. It just looks more elegant. It's just the way it is. But this is the last item that I had for Nori special and I have to say I'm completely in love with it. I just wish our new year was in the evening here in Canada so I could wear it for the time we're striking in the new year. And that brings us to the end of this week's video and I hope ladies you have liked some of the outfit pieces that I have put together for Noru's. And don't forget to leave comments for me and tell me what kind of Lebos 8 did you decide to wear and which one of these did you decide to actually choose to wear for your new year when you are striking in the new year. So till then don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and Eide Shoma Mubarak.